In a shocking turn of events, the news has emerged that Lizzo, the beloved singer with a massive fan base, whose first ever message in all of her songs, appearances, interviews, and works is to love yourself and never hate others, is facing a lawsuit filed by three of her former dancers. The lawsuit, which was filed on August 1 and has sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry, contains a litany of troubling claims, including sexual harassment, religious discrimination, racial harassment, and even false imprisonment. The lawsuit, first reported by NBC News and filed in the L.A. Superior Court, names Lizzo's former backup dancers, Ariana Davis, Crystal Williams, and Noel Rodriguez as the plaintiffs. In addition to Lizzo, they are also suing Sherling Quigley, Lizzo's dance team captain, and Lizzo's production company, Big Girl Big Touring, incorporated the dancers allege that Lizzo fostered a toxic work environment that involved sexually degrading behavior and body shaming. One particularly disturbing incident mentioned in the lawsuit occurred during Lizzo's performance at the South by Southwest Music Festival, SXW, in Texas. The former dancers claimed that Lizzo, who has been known for advocating body positivity, suggested that her weight gain made her less committed to her role, contradicting her own message of acceptance. Furthermore, Lizzo has been accused of pressuring a dancer to engage in inappropriate activities at an Amsterdam strip club. Attending Lizzo's after parties was seen as a way to gain favor with the singer, and it's alleged that Lizzo encouraged her cast members to engage in explicit acts, including touching nude performers and participating in demeaning activities. The lawsuit specifically mentions Lizzo pressuring one of the dancers, Ariana Davis, to touch the breasts of a nude woman, leading to a chant mocking Davis when she declined. The lawsuit also reveals an incident where Lizzo accused the backup dancers of drinking before performing. As a result, Lizzo demanded that the dancers audition again, leading to an arduous 12-hour rehearsal. The pressure was so intense that one of the dancers, Ariana Davis, was so afraid of losing her job that she avoided using the bathroom, ultimately resulting in an embarrassing accident. Crystal Williams, another dancer, was reportedly fired shortly after for defending her colleagues and denying the allegations of drinking. The allegations become even more disturbing when false imprisonment and religious harassment are brought into the picture. According to the lawsuit, Lizzo held a meeting where she claimed to have eyes and ears everywhere. In an attempt to uncover the person responsible for recording a previous meeting, Lizzo confiscated the dancers' phones and forced them into a room for a search. Ariana Davis, who admitted to the recording, was immediately fired. This incident has led to a false imprisonment lawsuit against Lizzo's production company. In the same meeting, Noel Rodriguez expressed her discontent and desire to resign. Lizzo, however, responded with anger, raising her fists and hurling a slur at Rodriguez as she left the room, while also making obscene gestures. Additionally, Lizzo's dance team captain, Sherling Quigley, is accused of religious harassment. The lawsuit alleges that Quigley attempted to impose her Christian beliefs on the dancers, ridiculing them for engaging in premarital sex and engaging in unprofessional and lewd behavior. After a few days of silence, Lizzo finally addressed the allegations in a lengthy statement posted on Instagram. She asserted that she did not want to be seen as a victim, but also emphasized that she was not the villain. Lizzo labeled the allegations as unbelievable and outrageous, and she insisted that the former dancers had already admitted that their behavior on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional. Before Lizzo made her public statement, her former creative director, Quinn Wilson, showed support for the dancers in an Instagram story. Wilson applauded the dancers for their courage in bringing these allegations to light, revealing that they were no longer part of Lizzo's world for a reason, hinting at their own negative experiences. On August 3, at 12 o'clock p.m., Lizzo's dance captain, Sherling Quigley, took to Instagram with a seemingly unrelated post, expressing gratitude and stating, God is so, so good. The timing of the post has raised eyebrows and added another layer of intrigue to the ongoing controversy. Beyond the explicit claims made against Lizzo by her former dancers, there is a profound sense of shock over how an artist who has projected a message of positivity, self-love, and kindness could allegedly engage in such behavior. Lizzo's recent tour in Australia, 
where she headlined the Splendor in the Grass Festival, adds another layer of irony to the situation. During one of her shows in Sydney, Lizzo spoke about the lasting impact of words, emphasizing their power to uplift and inspire, which now seems tragically at odds with the allegations against her. For fans who have invested their love and adoration in Lizzo, grappling with the possibility that their idol may have engaged in such reprehensible actions is both jarring and heartbreaking. In an industry that has long struggled with toxicity and body shaming, Lizzo had emerged as a beacon of hope and empowerment. However, if these allegations prove to be true, it is certain that the devoted followers of this celebrated pop star will be left devastated and disillusioned. As the news of the explosive lawsuit against Lizzo continues to unfold, the entertainment industry and the public at large are eagerly awaiting further developments. The allegations made by the former dancers have sent shockwaves through the music community, prompting a broader conversation about the importance of accountability and the prevalence of toxicity within the industry. In response to the lawsuit, Lizzo's representatives have stated that they are conducting a thorough investigation into the allegations. They have emphasized the need to gather all the facts before making any conclusive statements. Lizzo's legal team is expected to mount a vigorous defense against the claims made by the dancers. The lawsuit against Lizzo also raises questions about the responsibility of artists to uphold the values they espouse. Lizzo's music and public persona have been hailed for promoting body positivity, self-acceptance, and inclusivity. If the allegations are proven true, it would represent a stark contradiction to the image she has cultivated and would undoubtedly tarnish her reputation. The music industry has been grappling with issues of abuse, harassment, and power dynamics for years, and this lawsuit serves as a reminder that there is still much work to be done to create a safe and respectful environment for all artists and their teams. The allegations against Lizzo underscore the need for increased accountability and transparency within the entertainment industry as a whole. It is important to note that, at this stage, the lawsuit represents the allegations put forth by the former dancers. The legal process will ultimately determine the veracity of these claims. It is crucial to allow due process to take its course and await the outcome of the investigation and any potential legal proceedings. As the story continues to unfold, it is likely that more information will emerge, shedding further light on the allegations against Lizzo and the broader implications for the music industry. The impact of this lawsuit will undoubtedly be felt not only by Lizzo and her team, but also by the countless fans who have connected with her music and message. It remains to be seen how this controversy will shape Lizzo's career and the perception of her as an artist. The entertainment industry as a whole faces a critical moment of reflection and action. The allegations against Lizzo serve as a stark reminder that no individual is immune to scrutiny and the behavior of those in influential positions must be held accountable. Only through a collective effort can the industry move towards a more inclusive, respectful, and supportive environment for all. And that's the story of Lizzo's downfall from a beloved empowerment icon to the internet's number one villain. Sometimes the least people you'd expect to do no wrong end up being the main culprits, but either way, truth has to be revealed at the end of the day. Thank you for sticking around until the end. We hope this video was to your liking. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more celebrity buzz and news. See you later on another update.